Generally, she seduces us with her immaculate style sense. But today, she is simply killing it with those long, interminable, silky smooth legs. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but I'm just here to uh, talk about something that's uh, come straight out of my toiletry bag. That is the Gillette Venus Razor. And I'm really excited about it because it's, I'm just happy to be endorsing the brand. And I'm also, more than that, you know, it's very rare that women actually come out and talk about something so personal and so intimate. But we're just doing it and I, I'm hoping that we're doing it well and uh, making every woman out there confident and more goddess-like. And that's the intention. <laughs> More than genetic makeup, what does it take to maintain these legs? Well, uh, I'm a runner, so my legs are uh, something, uh, you know, that um, I, I have to put in a lot of work. And uh, I had uh, 21 needles in my calf as of this morning because uh, I had uh, a process called needling going on because I'm very badly injured. But in spite of that, my physios told me not to wear heels. And I told him I won't wear heels, I'll just wear six inches. And uh, as you can see, for somebody who's injured, I think I'm doing a pretty good job in those heels. <laughs> Absolutely standing but, tall. Uh, the most important thing about um, maintaining those legs is to uh, be confident by looking glamorous and the only way you can do it. And uh, wear whatever you want, whenever you want it, if you've got it, flaunt it by using the Venus. And how you always bump into you in all these media events and endorsement. Tell us, and we can't help but ask this question, how do you manage to look so stunning and you always reinvent your style, don't you? Really? Have I reinvented today? I don't think I have. Uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just somebody who has fun. And, you know, I heard the girls talk the, uh, at an interview right now for another TV channel and they spoke about how it is hard to cope up with the pressure. I honestly don't feel the pressure that much. I just go out there, just have fun and uh, you know an hour before a media event I'm pretty much taking a nap and then I get up and I get dressed and I come but it's just about I think uh, being yourself and sometimes you um, it's a home run and sometimes it's not you know it's like playing any other sport dressing up in fashion is literally like playing any other sport you have good days and you have bad days but those are the external thing what does Neha Dhupia do to you know stay beautiful inside well, um, firstly, there's no guarantee that I'm beautiful inside. Very few people know whether I am or I'm not. But, uh, well, yes, I just feel that, you know, um, feeling beautiful is, is a state of mind. And it only comes by a mix of a lot of things. It's not just, oh, happiness. And where does this happiness come from? Some days it comes from just being around family. And some days it comes from great work. Sometimes happiness comes from just looking beautiful or getting a compliment by someone like you. Or just, you know, a huge amount of adulation from fans or or the audience so it is really a state of mind and it's an ever-changing state of mind it's not something that is consistent that's saying oh yeah hey if I eat cheesecake I'll be happy but that's really not how it works you know it's just a mixed bag and being a woman you're far more complicated than any other species <laughs> when, when you're on the go your style is always perfect what style tips would you give which can never go wrong for a woman well, I think uh, if you're talking about style tips, uh, firstly, most importantly, um, don't have hairy arms and legs uh, because I'm standing in front of a Venus hoarding. Um, and, you know, I'm talking about a brand that I truly believe in and I use it. So that's the first style tip that I can do. I mean, a non-groomed girl is a big no-no, whether it's for another woman seeing her, for this man, whether you're at work, whether you're in your personal life just going out for lunch, you cannot, you know, have hair on your arms and legs. And if you're talking about personal style, I think it's very important to dress according to the weather, the occasion, and most importantly, according to your body type. A lot of people pick up things from beauty magazines and say, hey, we're going to wear this, but can you carry it off? Or you, do you look like that model? No, you don't. So you've got to just sort of make it your own. And once you make it your own, you just own the look. Yeah. This is a slightly naughty question. We're talking about legs today. Yeah. Who Can you name three celebs, male celebs, who can be equally sexy by showing off their legs if they wax them? Oh, okay, so I just think that men shouldn't wax their legs. So the minute you say men who wax their legs, it's a bit of an oxymoron for me because you lost me somewhere there. I can name three actresses who have great legs, but um, uh, naming guys who have really good legs, I don't know. I haven't actually really seen um, anyone in particular. But yeah, we've seen John do a stint in a movie, right, where he took his um, trunks off. So we would give like one of the top three slots to John for sure, for just making sure he shows us his legs. 
umpteen number of times. Who else has shown us his legs? Um, well, he's shown more than his legs. Yeah, I know. I was only focusing on the legs. I wasn't seeing anything else. Um, I'm a good girl. <laughs> Who else has shown us his legs? Um, I know that we saw three boys naked in, in a towel dancing during uh, Three Idiots. This mm. Amir and Sherman and, and Maddie. We'll give them a slot too so that there you go i've got enough men i mean i can't yeah big applause for them to, to be able to do it so you know kudos to people who show their legs i mean guys i know indian guys always have a little bit of a calf issue they're very conscious of their calves and they have really thin and skin, skinny calves because they never actually played soccer or outdoor sports when they were growing up so yeah i know that a lot of guys when i go to the gym they're working on their calves trying to build it up but yeah i, I filled up the first four slots for you in any case my last question when are we going to see these beautiful legs on the big screen, checking a leg on, on, on an item song maybe? Well, I don't think I'm doing an item song, but I'm actually filming three films and they're all coming out before in, in the first half of next year. But uh, item song, yeah, I am ready for it. I just don't have uh, the right offers. When I get the offer, I don't like the song. And when I like the song, I don't get the offer. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just waiting for the right opportunity. But I love song and dance, so I would totally endorse an item song. Thanks a lot for talking to us, Deha. Thank you very much.